Calvert's in a t-shirt. Oh, it's a present for my mum. I asked her to get me a t-shirt with a big cock on it. And she delivered. <laughs> if you've never heard of King from Tekken, I'm going to sum him up for you. He's a six foot seven wrestler with a jaguar mask who wrestles for one reason, to help orphans. If that sounds like something so stupid, it could only be in a video game. I've got news for you. He was actually based on a real dude. Seriously? Yes, he was a guy called Sergio Gutierrez Benitez who wrestled under the name Frey Tormenta. Vamos a ver aquí al sacerdote luchador frente al hombre bala. A ver si no le falta el respeto este bucanero del ring a Frey Tormenta. And like our friend King, Frey Tormenta wrestled for one reason and one reason alone, to help orphans. Isn't that the plot of Nacho Libre? Yes. And that is a story also based on the life of Frey Tormenta. We're not going to talk about that because it's shit. <laughs> the only real difference between King and Frey Tormenta was that, unlike King, Frey Tormenta wasn't a 300 pound man mountain. He was a simple and humble priest who wrestled for 23 years nonetheless to help the children despite his pudgy, unassuming frame. He also became a folk hero in the process, did you know this? Movies, comic books, the works, you name it, he was in it. Songs, everything's about him. Because why would you not want songs, movies, TV shows, comic books made about a guy who's a priest, who wears a wrestling mask, and just drop kicks people into next week? For the orphans! That's what makes it great, because like, when you drop kick someone and they say, well that was for the orphans, you can do whatever. They can't say anything. No, no, if you, if you do some, like you commit any crime, a small crime, and then someone asks why did you say, for the orphans, get away with it. You said he was in comics. Yes. Well. One of my favourite ones, it just shows Frey Tormentor just sat in a chair wearing a Santa hat, surrounded by laughing orphans while he observes a man on the floor getting his shit pushed in by two orphans who've got him in a leg lock. And I've never, I don't speak Spanish, so I don't know what's going on. And I don't want to know because it'll never be as cool as what's in my imagination. And if you look at Frey Tormenta, you may notice he's a little heavy around the midsection. And that's because he was. He wasn't in the best shape. He was a priest, not an athlete. We didn't stop him kicking ass, which is fairly easy when you are powered entirely by orphan prayers. Man, they should power more things with orphan prayers. Good. It'd be like that car in The Simpsons that powered by that guy's own sense of self-worth, <laughs> only it's orphan <laughs> prayers. So you just... <laughs> it's like, oh yes, today this flight is powered by the prayers of orphans. Oh, you're also flying United Airlines. Oh. <laughs> Those orphans are praying because you're not going to make it home. Why do you hate United Airlines? Do you not see what United Airlines did? All the people that killed someone. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah! Did you also hear they killed the world's biggest rabbit? No. Yeah, they killed the world's biggest rabbit. Someone had a world record breaking rabbit. They just killed it. It died. How did they kill I it? don't know how it died. It was a pretty... Cool... I don't know. Probably. <laughs> I don't know how it died. But like, that's not, it's not a good week for United Airlines, is it? Aside from wrestling to save orphans, do they actually have any other similarities? Well, they don't need to because that's really the only facet of their personality anyone really gives a shit about. Um, Frey Tormenta, in an interview with The Guardian in 2006, openly admitted that fame and fortune could fuck off the edge of his dick because he only cared about making money for the orphans. Likewise, King, in many of the storylines, literally only wrestles to earn money for the orphans. Like in Tekken 2, I think, and his storyline is him, in his jaguar mask and a suit and a big coat, just throwing presents into the snow outside of an orphanage. <laughs> I like the idea that you see him staring through the window of an orphanage in his jaguar mask. And Merry Christmas. <laughs> underneath, you know, he's like sitting a single manly Mexican tear. And he walks off and the kids run out and hug him and he throws the presents in the snow and it's, it's adorable. Good. Like, the wrestling to save orphans is the only similarity they need because that's the only thing they do. Here's the thing, he wears his wrestling mask now. He's retired yeah. from wrestling and he still wears a mask when he's giving sermons and things like that. It doesn't matter that there's only one thing that makes them similar. That is the only thing he gives a fuck about. They, they wrestle for orphans. They never remove their mask. Yes, they never remove their mask. So next time you play a video game and think a character looks somewhat unrealistic, remember there's a priest out there who wants to kick people for two decades straight to save a bunch of orphans.
Oh, it is I, El Madeira Grande. If you could like, comment, and subscribe. Why is that? Let's try that again. No, we'll try it again. Oh, it is I, Madeira Grande. One more. <laughs> this is fun. Aha, it is I, El Madeira Grande. If you could like, comment, and subscribe, that would be great. What is that accent? I don't even know what that is. Do you like my cool mask? I bought this. It's fun, isn't it? Why do you have a luchador mask? Why do you not have a luchador mask? Actually, that's a very good point. I've got matching ones. It's uh, based on Sin Cara, one of my favourite wrestlers. Where'd you get them from? Mexico. And it was one of those days when I was doing what I always do. I was hungover as fuck. I mean, you know what I really want? I want a luchador mask. So I went online, started seeing luchador mask. There's a seller in Mexico on eBay. So I bought this because it's two for one. <gasps> I'll have two. So like, I want one luchador mask, which was better, two. And then they took about three, four weeks to get there. And after two weeks, the guy sent me an email saying, and it's the most adorable thing I've ever read. It's like, do not worry, mask coming, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like, that is legit, that is legit. So that is a guy who doesn't speak very good English, but knows these fucking luchador masks. And it came, and I was so happy. But then my girlfriend at the time refused to work in the bedroom, so it was kind of a waste for her. <laughs> well, I came in wearing this and only this, and she wasn't impressed. She just rolled over and read a book, so <laughs> that did not go well. Did you get some? That's no. I'm pretty sure when you burst into anyone's room naked wearing a mask when they're in bed, it kind of ruins the mood. <laughs> oh, I fucking love this thing. <laughs> it's a bit like scary though, particularly for King in his massive. Do you know he never he never takes that fucking thing off? Yeah. In any game, he never he takes it off once in I think Tekken One is the ending, and you can see like his low polygon face. But through any other game, he's never fucking taken it off. Tekken One and Tekken Two is a guy called King One. He's the original king, the OG king. There's more, there's more than one king. There's more than one king, I'll get to that. And the orphanage that he saves, an orphan in there who grows up to become King Two. And in Tekken Three, it, King Two takes over from the original king because the original king dies because he's killed by the god of fighting. Tekken One and Two, King One. Tekken Three onwards, King Two. King Two is six foot seven and weighs about 300 fucking pounds. He also never takes that fucking Jaguar mask off, ever. There are clips in the video games of him talking to people and he talks through growls. But they understand him perfectly. It's like Chewbacca, that sort of thing. Don't lie to me. If you look at his bio in the games, both King 1 and King 2, they have likes and dislikes. The dislike for King 1 and King 2 is the tears of children. Now I don't know about you, but if I was a little kid, and a guy who was six foot seven and never took off this screaming fucking cat mask at all times, even when he wearing a suit, I would cry a lot. <laughs> if you if you don't like the tears of children, maybe don't wear a jaguar mask while being six foot seven. <laughs> Makes you think there must be something worse underneath. No, I think he's super handsome. That's why you never taste it out. <laughs> I think he's gonna have like proper big um, uh, kawaii eyes. He's one of my favourite because he just never takes that stupid mask. And even when he wears a suit, he still has a little tail on the back. <laughs> so whenever I play the game and you can customise it, I always put you in a suit and just call him Business King. <laughs> in the new game though, this is what I love the most. In the new game, they give him a cape. They've finally got the, like, the physics tech to give him a cape. So he just strolls into the ring. So now he's, he is actually a king. And I hope there's a customised action to give him a crown. Because I am fucking putting him in a crown and a suit with a cape on and that will be the most pimp-ass motherfucker you have ever seen.